be no black folks again like i say check the earthquake out stuff out you know if you got live 3d earthquake and stuff you should be able to see what's going on in earthquakes and you got rsoe and you got usgs and then you bleed out the truth because some of it gets covered up looking over and stuff like that and there's tons of stuff in space there always has been and that's why a lot of the stuff when you're up the moon and looking off into space it's all dark and you don't really see nothing but Soho's way the hell out there and gets all this stuff. Now, I'm going to show you some real dramatic. This is uh, Venus and Mercury. Okay, the video before this, the sound got jacked. The sound might get jacked on this video also. The actual factual that you see all the material when you zoom in the shot a little bit that's closer. I got this off Helio server. You see all the stuff that's flying around Venus and Mercury. Now, there's mass distance. You can go look up the distance. I don't even really care at this point in time. Between Venus and Mercury and their rotation with us around the sun but as you see they are closer to the sun and in their different rotation path most of the time when you look at all the charts it's all correct but you got to pay attention to distances that they keep between each other and check it daily okay and astrologers know because that's what they are always looking at and see the difference between astrologers and astronomers is not really that much they're all into the same crap they're all paying attention it's just politically correct because religions for years don't want you looking at the stars they want you to just believe that it's God only now I'm not an atheist I've had a uh, one time that basically I'm still here because I prayed to somebody that you know want to hang around a little bit longer went over my handlebars on my motorcycle folks and I'm still here and I was going over 100 miles an hour I just had the right apparel on let's put it that way otherwise I'd be splato rama but the most interesting thing, the diesel behind me did not run me over. Okay? And that's amazing. So anyhow, there's a lot of amazing stuff about Pinot Black. Intangible wealth beyond belief. And let's go take a look at what's going on at Sechi. Now the most important thing is to pay attention to, is it comets or is it material that's coming off the huge CMEs that were coming off the sun? Now this is the freshest I got. Now there could have been something from the 21st. I'm not even going to waste my time. I got this from the 20th. And as you see the sun and the supergiants, and the only thing I'm starting to wonder is if the size of the sun they tell us correctly because they've laserly looked at it over the years. But the idea how huge have the flames always kind of been on the sun. And then also the, the supergiants that we also know of because there's way more than one sun, folks. There's over 200 suns known in the supergiants main sequence with the sun, and the sun's up there. And then the idea that we used to just think that we had four suns here in the Milky Way galaxy. And basically, the supergiant's main sequence and the Milky Way and everything is much larger than what we think. But then again, it's way smaller than what we think because when you look out, there's something that's like seven trillion times the size. There's all kinds of galaxies, and there's one that's known to be seven trillion. And that's just what Hubble's found so far. Okay, so Hubble shoots way the hell out there, and then they zoom in on the stuff. But now you look at this, and we're going to zoom in on Venus. Because as you see, you will see that it does that coronal mass ejection of its atmosphere to a coronal mass ejection of the sun. Okay, As you see, it goes off to the left. But you'll also see, more than likely, a comet or asteroid or something. Or Venus is actually trying to move itself that fast, so everybody needs to track Venus. Because no matter what, there is a huge comet or asteroid some kind of planetarial material that is. And remember, all these planets look way larger than what they are because they're illuminated so largely. And then the idea their atmospheres try to fight off the heat and energy and electrical activity because heat is electrical activity, folks. And there you go. Because yes, there is static electricity when you strike sulfur like a match and you light a fire. Okay, You need electrical to have fire. Every time you have static, scratch a cat, there you go. You got static cling and you got static electricity. Okay? So here we got factual great, and basically you'll see a tail of another possible comet or something or one of the other planets, which more than likely might be Mercury. Okay? Because Mercury's probably over here. As you see that, see that little flash right there? I'll stay here so you'll see it, but you'll see another little flash right there. You see that where my pointer's at? Okay, so very interesting there. Let's go zoom in on it. Because we know the sun and the supergiant is off to the right. And let's zoom in on that. Okay, all I'm going to do is go to 400% because basically we're looking at a bunch of, you know, even though it's, you know, big planets out there in our Milky Way galaxy, 
uh, there's your, you can get a good, better view of what's going on because you know that that little flash that I showed you before above Venus over here, that's going to come up, see that come up, you know that's probably more than likely off of Mercury, okay? Well, odds are off of Mercury. But you can see that more than likely we have a comet that is streaking by Venus. And we know Lovejoy should be gone out of the view of all H1 and B and so forth and so on. So basically, we have trailers to all these other comets that are going around. So basically, there's all kinds of stuff going on in space every day. You just need to always look at the footage and go look at it, and you'll be amazed about how much stuff that they're never going to tell you because basically, there's so much stuff, they try to keep it simple because they also want you to keep believing all the old information, whatever mistakes that anybody's ever made. Okay? So, anyway... And basically, we see much more reality here off of the Soho stuff because you're not just looking at a nice image of a galaxy way off, which is all those shots are very beautiful that they but they only show you artistical brushed inversions of what they want you to see from Hubble. They don't give you this zoom in stuff that basically you know they can because basically you know that these satellites can see what they can see. And there's Mars and Venus and a comet or asteroid or something is streaking along. Or there's another planet. And I can't remember if Venus has got moons or not. You'd have to go research it. Uh, so basically, there's another interesting comet find, because there you go, right there. Okay? It's not a spaceship. It's not a rocket. And yes, these planets look much larger right now because of the illumination. And basically, you see that huge CME. I'm going to pop back down to size here. I think I don't even have to waste time clicking out. And there you'll go. There's the Sechi shot, and that's all the sun down here. Watch this. The sun... And all this massiveness of supergiants, folks, then you realize how huge the sun and the supergiants are. Okay? Because you have all this brightness here, and they were able to show it, but they can't show all the supergiants and the sun at the same time. It's too damn bright. And that's, that is Flamo. El Flamo. Those are flames right there. Okay? So basically, it's a good thing that it's CMEing bad at whatever portion it is on the sun. And yes, there's all kinds of people. Go to Two Minute News and a lot of other people on the internet. Two Minute News is a great news update every day on YouTube, folks. He lets you know what's going, factually, actually going on. There's all kinds of psyops, government layers. That's why they have the pyramid. Layers, 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 and only a certain amount of wealth of people are allowed to know this, 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 up to the pyramid. Well, Bino's up there because Bino has got a hell of a lot of intangible wealth. Okay? So, anyway, and also knowledge and inventions, and a lot of people are wanting to try to steal them and try to get them out of be really cheap, and they're not going to get them because the government ain't going to get them for free either. Okay? So, anyway, probably going to get a job with some agency that wants to start doing, you know, more robotics in space because I know the routes. Okay? And that's not the only routes I know. But anyway, everything's good here on Earth, and looks like things are kind of crispy out there in space. So, anyway, just remember, folks, you need a map everywhere when you when you're on Earth. Don't trust your GPS; they'll run you right into a wall. They'll catch you. They'll grab you, especially if you know something. So, anyway, you know knows nothing. And anybody who's stupid enough to believe somebody's, oh, you don't want to let everybody know in the world know you know a lot. That's a bunch of horse crap because they just don't want you hanging out with somebody bigger than them. So anyway, it's nice to have friends really low on the totem pole and nice to have friends in between and all the way to the top. I love brass ass. If there's a young female brass that's not married, I'd love to meet you, honey. So anyway, no spies for me anymore. So anyhow, <laughs> that's just a big joke. But anyway, wink, wink. Feed the dogs well, dear. Keep them healthy. Because Bino is intangibly wealthy. So, anyway, more from space here. And uh, let's see what else is going on in the world. Now, folks, Kerasoft will know before I tell you, but basically the audio. Okay? So, basically, I'm going to try to not to mention that there's no audio. And basically, they just don't want anybody to know. And I have free speech. So, basically, I don't need a lawyer. And that's what it is about. And I'm not a lawyer. You have your constitutional rights, ladies and gentlemen, 24-7. You do not need a lawyer, and they have to listen to you. Judges don't have time to listen to each citizen, but they're supposed to. And basically, our government cannot afford to have all of our rights listened to. 
which is BS, because they have to. So basically, uh, they might have to start making judges and lawyers, and the bar might be in trouble. So basically, because no matter what, the Constitution is going to be upheld, and they have to listen to every citizen. Okay? So if someone's screwing with you, and I'm not a lawyer, I'm not giving legal advice, I'm telling you the Constitution in the law. That's what it is. Go read it. Every judge has quo, quo warranto, uh, writ of satori, writ of mandibus. You don't need a lawyer, okay? And they're mad because Bino knows he doesn't need a lawyer. And Bino is intangibly wealthy as hell. And I've got my Masonic friends out there that know that and knows that and it's just a big laugh and it doesn't matter because I know how to live on the other side. Now about the video audio might still be so the night you're not going to hear this but basically that's Venus and Mercury here Venus and Mercury and I could be wrong but because I could have a mismatch okay but that's a close-up shot and then more than likely this is Mars way off here that you back up the video and you'll see the other objects okay so if they don't have sound there you go there's Mars there and then we got Venus, and then like I say, that other flash up there would have been Mercury, okay? So, so that's more than likely Mercury there. I mean, uh, Mars. Mars, Mars, Mars. Mercury and Venus are more than likely here. So if we don't have sound, there you go. Okay. And then, no matter what, you got that comet there. So there you go. More facts and truth. Now, folks, you should be able to see this, and I got the mileage here. So basically, the closest thing we're ever going to have to us for a long time is going to be 2048. And the closest thing soon is going to be February in 2013 on the 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. So like I say, remember, I've got news on the street. February 28th, there's going to be some BS somewhere in the world. Someone's going to try to pull some crap off. Okay, so basically, no matter what, this is the only thing that's going to be close to us in a hell of a long time. I mean, close to us. You know what I'm saying? within a short period of time, and it's just going to be in 2013, that's this coming February, the 15th, at 1925, around that time, UTC Zulu time, okay, so basically 1,300 hours, and there you go, that's 1 o'clock in the afternoon over in England, and then another 8 hours, so basically 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 125 or so in the afternoon, here in the Central Standard Time Zone, more than likely on 2013, February 15th. Okay, so there is your data on close objects and their names and their numbers and stuff and the mileage. That's there's really nothing much to ever worry about. So factually, 2048, if we can live that long, at least me, I possibly might be able. Since I got a lot of intangible wealth, might be still kicking around around then, possibly, and uh, might be on TV. I, I've actually put my face on TV. If I'm still alive in 2048. You can flash my face on TV. Okay, there you go. And actually, TV will probably be dead. It'll just be the internet by then. Now, since I was stupid enough to upload this, I figured I'd share this with you. I haven't even really looked at it too much yet. So I got Earth, and it's all. They got Earth, Saturn. It's all marked. You should be able to just back up and keep playing with the player and watch everything. You got Venus, and, and then you can see that uh, you know the big V is basically predominant there because of the CME action off the sun and everything like that. So basically, years ago, uh, in the 50s and stuff, when they made the NASA logo, more than likely it's this V, and then the meatball that's out there, and so forth and so on. Because you can see this V, you see this big V we got here? That's probably what astronomers and stuff for years were wanting to get out and take a look at. It's all this cluster that we have out here. Now this is one side shot, if anybody's new here, and this is the other side shot. Satellite all the way millions of miles away from each other on each side of the sun, and not directly behind the sun, but they're trying to. But they can only go so far back. And then as you can see, you see the uh, CME action here? So now that's what I'm wondering. Okay, this is the one side. This is a head. As we're looking at a head there, we don't get mixed up here. And then B is over here, if you're watching my cursor. So basically, yeah, see the sun, this is a CME action coming off of the sun here. Watch it, you'll see this here. It looks like, you know, light. You see that burst that comes out? So that's CME action coming out towards all of our planets. And like I say, Earth is in a really lucky spot that we don't get our asses fried off. Because basically that's what that is, CME action right there, ladies and gentlemen. And it lights up all these cluster here that basically 
when you're looking at this bee behind shot, it's looking from a different angle and it's looking back towards Earth and so forth and so on. Because more than likely, this is Venus here and also Venus here. So Earth is 